Hello, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing the monthly reading for April 2017 for our Sages. Uh, <clears throat> oh, all of a sudden I got a little froggy. <coughs> Sorry about that. So, um, Sages, we've got our theme of the month, which is really a good one for you guys this month. Uh, we're going to get some additional cards, giving you some more guidance around this month, and then we're focusing on health and healing. Um, for your aspects this month. So this is going to relate to your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual health. Archangel Raphael is going to come in and help us with that. And then our quick feng shui tips are going to be around decluttering this month. So perfect um, guidance that I received around uh, that. And it is just a beautiful time of the year to be doing that. Springtime, of course, is a great, great time of year to be doing that. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got the Nine of Water. Water cards are all about the depth of emotion. And of course, Nine in Feng Shui is a beautiful, auspicious, lucky number. And it's the reason it is, it's a, it's a last number before they repeat again, and it's about reaching new heights. And so it is, brings this beautiful, um, great energy. The water cards are about the depth of emotion, and this is a beautiful card because this is about your wishes coming true. Yay, right? So exciting. So your concerns are just fading away. You're in going to be in a space in April of just loving life, okay? If you allow yourself to be there, right? So it's really about letting go and, and, and embracing that um, the beautiful beautiful life that is all around you, right? Being present for that. So let's see what else we've got coming in for you guys. It has been a challenge, I, I will say, this month for me, um, because as many of you know, I'm, I'm moving, I'm selling my house, I sold my house, and there's just a lot of, with moving, packing, um, people coming in and out, inspectors and, um, you know, praisers and different people like that. It's like, well, ah, you know, trying to get these videos done has been a bit of a challenge. So I do apologize for them being a little bit later this month. It is what it is. There's not a whole lot that I um, can do about that. And, uh, and too, you know, it's a, it's a good thing for me. Like I, regardless of what's going on, like I um, focus on taking care of myself through all of it. Um, so if like today, all of a sudden I was just feeling um, very, just very tired. <laughs> I, you know, I did a whole bunch of work. I think I worked, I don't know, whatever. I worked for like six or seven hours straight and then took a walk and came back and I was like, oh, I did a little bit more work and then I'm like, wow, I just feel tired. Um, so I took a nap for a couple hours. That's what I needed to do, right? And so I could have the energy to do these, you know, do more of these videos for you guys. So um, just know that it's always important to honor yourself. Like, don't make other people's priorities or emergency yours. Take care of yourself. That's, that's kind of, you know, kind of. That's your prime responsibility, right? Your prime responsibility. So we got some fire and a little bit of water um, this month for you guys. We've got Queen of Fire. Uh, fire cards are all about passion and action, and this queen of water, uh, or I'm sorry, queen of fire. So fire people are very confident typically, right? They're kind of the life of the party type of thing. This queen of fire is very confident, but in kind of a quiet, understated way. So she's got a very warm energy around her, right? Um, and she's also... Um, uh, has some of that air quality. So she's very intelligent, right? Very graceful, very like, it's it's a smoother energy. Some of the fire people that you might meet are just like, blah, they're like out there. That's not her. Like this queen of fire is is just understated, but she, she has this magnetism, right? And this is someone that's going to be prominent or prevalent in your life um, this month. And I feel like she's one to sort of help you push you out of the nest and help you fly because that's the other part of this card is about stretching your wings, okay? It's really time to fly. Don't underestimate what you can do, right? You can co-create anything that you want to co-create in this life. Um, so this month is a beautiful time for you to assert yourself. Um, be creative. Be independent. Do those things that light you up, the things that you know, put a fire under you, do those things. That's going to be really a beautiful thing for you this month. Um, and then we have the three of fire coming in for you. 
which is all about abundance. So really love that combined with that wishes come true, right? Um, so this is about things really looking good for you. Um, some of you may have to have a little bit of patience. So the flow is there kind of behind the scenes, like you've got that waterfall flowing behind you, but you may not quite see it yet. Okay, so you've got to have some patience around that, but you can make long-term plans, right? You can rely on this flow being there for you um, to be able to make these plans. So I was talking to a couple this weekend about, you know, they're wanting to build this house and of course the fears come in around all of that. And yet, um, when, I, in fact, I think maybe one of them even got this card. I did separate readings, one for the wife and one for the husband. Um, and one of them, I think, even got this card. And it's really about knowing that that flow is there and being able to make those plans, okay? So just trusting that you can make those plans. Then we've got the Knight of Water coming in for you. So another person that's going to be prominent for you in the month of April is this Knight of Water. Water people are more emotional, right? Um, water people tend to be deeper thinkers, okay? They're more inward. They like, they kind of maybe need their time to themselves. Um, this particular night of water, very romantic. So could be potentially a romantic partner, right? Um, they also have a lot of enthusiasm, a, a very much a zest for life, which fits in beautifully with your love of life theme for this month, okay? So this person is going to help you get more juice out of life because they also love life. They're also enthusiastic. They're also, um, you know, all of those things, right? Um, Ah, and it is about falling in love. So now I'm like looking at this card, I'm like, yes, it is about falling in love. So falling in love definitely can be related to a person. So it might be this night of water coming in. Um, for sure can be a person this month that you're falling in love with. It could also be falling in love with your life, falling in love with your work, falling in love with yourself, right? How juicy is that? Um, that's a potential as well. Um, there may be even some wedding proposals, some wedding bells, right, um, can be coming in with this, uh, this card. And really for you, it's about needing that balance of, um, of your emotions. So uh, lots of times we, how do I want to say this? Uh, so I'm just asking for them to give me a little bit more on that. Um, as far as balancing the emotions, so sometimes we get in a space where we're focused too much on um, negative emotions and we don't get the juice out of the positive ones. So the negative ones, you'll beat that, that um, you know, drum over and over and over again, telling people about all your woes. But when good things are happening, lots of times people don't want to beat that drum. Why not? because they think that it's um, they're going to look haughty or they're going to be throwing their good luck in other people's faces, please don't stop yourself from beating that beautiful drum of the good stuff. It's inspiring, okay? When I told, um, I told somebody just on Friday about my moving to Maui, she was so excited. She's like, oh my gosh, this is so inspiring to me. Like, you made my day by sharing this with me, right? Um, there may be some people that um, that just when you're in a good place, um, because they're not in a good place, they don't enjoy that. But please don't don't dampen your light for them. Please don't do that. That doesn't help them, and it sure, sure as heck does not help you. So really beat the drum of the positive stuff that's happening. Share it with as many people as you possibly can about all the beautiful things. I have a group that I belong to that I'm part of on Facebook. And I specifically will go into this group because it's all about sharing positive stuff. We don't bring in our crap. We only share the magic, right? So that's what I want you to do. Okay, um, so let's see what we've got around your health this month. So physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. Um, Any one or all of those can come into play here. You know, so when stuff comes up in your body, the physical stuff, I was having a conversation with someone about this yesterday. When physical stuff comes up in your body, it's a message, right? And the reason it's coming up in your body is because they couldn't get through to you. <laughs> they just could not get through to you any other way. And you, when it comes up in your body like that, you can't ignore it. 
there's no way to ignore it because you feel it in your body. And for lots of people, it's like a nagging thing, right? Uh, so that's the reason they're bringing it in. As soon as you can get clear on why this is coming up for you, what's behind it, what's the message, and you take action to shift things, that can go away. Um, so we've got improving health. So the, uh, the reason that they wanted me to share that other stuff with you first is because you do need to process your emotions around whatever's happening for you, okay? And once you do that, then your health will improve, okay? Um, we've got Jesus, the divine healer, that's here helping you this month. So Jesus, as you know, um, as, as I would imagine most of you know, was very much a healer in his lifetime, okay? He's what we call an ascended master. Um, so he, he, like Buddha, Mary, you know, there's all kinds of different people that were, um, that lived on earth and ascended. Um, they didn't necessarily die a physical death. Like if you look at the stories around Jesus, um, you know, he supposedly died on the cross, but then he was resurrected. So when they went to find his body, he wasn't there. He ascended. Um, so that's where they get that ascended master from. Um, so he was a healer in his lifetime. And so he's bringing that healing energy to you and the situation that you're going through right now. Okay, so beautiful. Beautiful energy to have with you. Um, you need to consult a nutritionist. This has been coming up for a lot of people this month. Um, it's The diet is important, and it does affect your body's ability to handle what's coming in. Okay, um, So your, what you're putting in your body, what you're ingesting, food, drinks, all of that stuff affects you. And it affects your uh, body's ability to function. So seeing a nutritionist is really something that's going to help you. And follow the guidance about who that is, right? Um, all you have to do is like put it out there. And now that it's out there, essentially, put it out there. Like guide me to the highest light person that can help me with this situation, right? At, invoke that um, and ask for that assistance. All right, that's what I've got for you for the month of April 2017. Stay tuned for the next video that's going to give you your, your quick feng shui tips for decluttering. Much love. Hello, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your feng shui tips for the month of April 2017. Today, our topic is clutter, and there's a number of reasons that I was called to choose this as a topic for the month. Uh, as many of you know, it's springtime in a lot, um, lot of areas of the world, and so that tends to get people decluttering. Uh, the other shift, we've got the spring coming in. Um, we had a new moon at the end of March, as well as a portal opening that same time, which is calling us to let go of things that are no longer serving us so that we can move forward, so that we can do the things that we came here to do. So, feng shui, um, in feng shui, clutter is not our friend, okay? And we've talked about this a little bit. If you've watched my videos before, you know that this year is the year of the fire monkey, or I'm sorry, the fire rooster, we had the monkey last year, fire rooster this year, and the rooster does not tolerate clutter. So that's another energy that we've got going on here as well. But in feng shui, clutter represents stuck energy, okay? So if you have areas in, in your home, a couple of areas in your home that are very cluttered, I would encourage you to take a look at the bagua and see what area um, is, is drawing the most clutter and how is that affecting your life, okay? Because it can, um, it does affect your life. Everything is energy. Um, so like this bell is energy, this book is energy. Everything in your space carries an energy to it, okay? That's one of the basic principles of feng shui is that everything is energy. So things in your space are either lifting you up, right? Raising your vibration, helping you vibrate at a higher level, or they're dragging you down, right? They're draining you, okay? So clutter can, that's one of the things clutter can do is have you feeling drained um, maybe you're feeling that you don't have as much energy as you'd like, or you're like, I can't clear this clutter because I don't even have the energy to do it, right? Um, 
So today I'm going to give you a few tips around that. So um, first of all, though, I want to share with you some of the things that clutter can cause it within your life. Things that I see when I'm doing feng shui consults with people and, um, and they have clutter in their spaces. So um, clutter can ca cause clouded vision, right? Um, uh, you know when you have a whole bunch of stuff on your desk, it's really hard to focus on what you need to be doing, right? So it clouds your vision and, and um, it causes you having difficulty focusing. It can also relate to um, you feeling overwhelmed. So if there's a lot of stuff around, that gives you that feeling of being overwhelmed as well. Um, it can cause relationship issues. It can cause weight gain, like you can be heavier. If you have a lot of clutter in your space, that may cause you to be heavier, right? Um, it can cause fatigue, make you feel tired, make you feel depressed. Um, there's health issues that can, can be related to clutter and having a lot of clutter. Lost opportunities, certainly. And then, of course, financial difficulties as well. Um, so there's a lot of different things that clutter um, can cause in your life that are not very fun, right? So that's why I really want to give you this opportunity to do just some quick tips to share what, um, what you can do to shift the energy. So number one, I have this little bell, right? When you have a space that is cluttered and you cannot seem to get motivated to clear it, or perhaps it's maybe even your son's room or something like that, you can ring a bell over the space. What does the bell do? So bells um, help stir up energy. They can clear energy as well. So I use um, sound when I do my space clearings. I use smoke and sound. So I do use bells for that, not this particular bell. But, um, so, but ringing a bell over the space helps kind of clear the energy. It also helps you make decisions, okay? Um, so when I, um, back in my prior life, I used to buy gold and silver. And um, we used to do these parties, and we every time that we would figure calculate how much the people were getting um, for their gold and silver, we would ring a bell. We would tell them the amount, and we would ring a bell. Not this kind of bell, but we did like an office bell, right? Ding, 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 ding. Um, and it um, and not only created excitement, of course, because then every time somebody heard the bell, they were like, oh, who's getting money, and how much are you getting? Um, but it also helped the person make a decision, right, about whether they wanted to accept that, whether they wanted to keep keep some things, what they wanted to do around that. So bells help um, with a lot of different things. Um, so that would be my first tip, is ringing a bell over the clutter. The second thing that you can do, um, another option that you can do along with that is to spend nine minutes a day. Um, so it sounds like it's not very much time, right? But everyone has nine minutes. And you'd be surprised how much you can get done in nine minutes. You just set a little timer on your phone or set the, the timer on your stove or whatever for nine minutes every day and just pick a spot and clear. It could be a junk drawer. It could be an area on your counter. Um, anything. Spend time, nine days to clear that clutter. Another option is to remove nine things every day, okay? So what's with the nine? People are always asking about why, why nine? So nine is a lucky number. Um, in feng shui, it's the last number before they repeat, right? Um, but it's also about reaching new heights. So it's about like, you know, getting to that next level. And so that nine is, um, has, a, has a good energy to it. And it is about completion. So when we are doing clutter clearing, we're wanting to be letting go of things that no longer serve us, right? And so that is a, a good way to do that. So nine um, things every day. Um, find nine things in your home every day that you no longer love, you no longer use, you no longer want, and get them out of the house, right? Um, my, my advice always to my feng shui clients is if you don't love it, like if it doesn't spark joy, and I can, I'm going to explain where that spark joy comes from, but if you don't love it, if it doesn't spark joy, let it go, okay? There's someone else that needs that. There's someone else that it will bring joy to, and it's holding you back. It's like you're carrying all of this stuff with you, right? Um, so the last thing that I want to share with you is um, this wonderful book. And I, you know, obviously I'm not paid or anything to share this. I just have found that this book is amazing for helping myself, not only myself, but also my clients, clear the clutter out of their house once and for all. I'm just going to hold that up for you. So it's The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Let's see if I can, there. 
Hi, you can see both of us. Um, it's a life-changing magic of tidying up. It's by Marie Kondo, K-O-N-D-O. Um, and she's got two versions. This is the first version that I would recommend. Um, she has a second um, book out as well. And then you can see kind of her, her picture on the back there. Um, but this book, I just found that the way that she does this really syncs up well with feng shui because it's about feeling the energy of the things in your space. So she literally has you pick up each item and feel it. Does this spark joy? If it sparks joy, you keep it. If it doesn't, you let it go. So it's really more about the things that you are keeping rather than what you are letting go. Um, so that is what I have for you. I guess it's not a super quick tip, um, but I had several different things that I wanted to share with you. If you want more around um, the Marie Kondo system, I'm gonna share kind of my tips around that in a little deeper dive in the deep dive reading. Uh, so you'll get that. And then the last thing is that I'm, it's my birthday, um, or it was my birthday on March 31st. So I was called, I've been called to offer a birthday special on my private readings. Um, not only my private readings, but also a few other things that I do, my life navigation sessions, my space um, whispering, as well as my virtual feng shui consult. So I'm offering uh, a discount that I've never offered before, like I've never given this big a discount. Uh, so if you've been wanting to work with me or try um, some private work with me, this would be a great opportunity to do that. I'm offering 31% off these services and all you have to do is use the code birthday um, and when you put in birthday it will automatically take that 31 percent off so you can get um, to experience me at a lower rate for the month of april so all through the month of april till the end of april for now relax have fun and enjoy your month much love to you